the sea. It's starting right now. You ought to be able to see it. You have to turn your volume down though, cause when, cause it'll echo. Okay, they're coming on one. I got one on two. David, <laughs> hey David. <laughs> I seen y'all in that pool over there. Troy Taylor, what's going on, buddy? <laughs> oh, eight. Look, I got eight people already. <laughs> Shelly Greer. Hey, Amber and Jord Jordy. <laughs> Jory. <laughs> Eleven people. Okay, they're getting on there. I got somebody that's going to film me today, y'all. <laughs> okay, but I can't tell you who it is because they don't want to be seen on camera. But they're going to do a good job today. Okay, so look. <laughs> I'm waiting for... <laughs> hey, Amber and Jory. <laughs> Where's everybody at? I, I told y'all hours ago. <laughs> okay, it's 15. They need to get on here. <laughs> 17 is climbing. <laughs> the people. <laughs> Chad Mercer. Hey, Chad. <laughs> we got to get together. We're going to cook it up and have our little... Look, I got a... Not no little drinky drink today. I got my big drinky drink. It's up to 26. Okay, it's climbing. 28. It's climbing. <laughs> got my little swig going on. Let me get a little swig. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I'm holding my phone right now, so it's kind of hard for me to juggle my, my little wine glass. My, my big wine glass. <laughs> okay, so look. I'm going to pass the phone. To my camera girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, look, today I'm making seafood stuffed bell peppers. I've made those several years back. I got the recipe and I will post the recipe on my timeline after the show is over. So... Y'all don't need to ask me for the recipe right now. I will post it. It's been a few years. Where is it? Where did we put it? <laughs> where did we put the recipe? Oh, Lord, where did we put it? <laughs> right here. Oh. <laughs> okay. All right. Listen, this is what I already did. Let me crank up my, my heat back up. Because I wanted to get this out of the way first. Because, you know, the... the uh, Onions and all that, when you saute, and they take a little while to saute, so I wanted to knock that out of the way, so we won't be on here all day. So I did that. So I'm going to tell you what it calls for, but I doubled my recipe. I always do. It calls for six medium bell peppers, but I got 12. So everything on here, I doubled, but y'all don't have to. Y'all can make it according to the recipe or according to how y'all want. So I did 12 um, medium bell peppers. And a whole stick of butter, but it costs. I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read what the recipe says. But just know, I doubled my recipe. It calls for six medium bell peppers, a half a stick of butter, a half a pound of lump crab meat, a half a pound of small shrimp peeled and deveined, a half a pound of crawfish tails, two cloves of garlic minced, a half a cup of onions chopped, a half a cup of bell peppers chopped, a half a cup of celery chopped, a fourth cup of fresh parsley chopped, one tablespoon of Cajun seasoning. Y'all already know. Pat in the pot, right there. Okay. Uh, and a, a little, couple of good shakes of hot sauce, salt to taste, and one and a half cups of Italian breadcrumbs. Well, I got three cups because I'm making, I'm doubling in one cup of shredded cheddar cheese. But instead of me doing the sh cheddar cheese, I thought I would use the hot jalapeno and habanero jack cheese. Something a little bit different. And, and a little spicy. So we got that. So <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, I sauteed my onions. So what I, what's gonna go in next, so you're gonna saute all your onions and your shrimp and your crawfish. So that's, that's some fresh, well that's some bald crawfish from a crawfish ball that one of my friends gave to me. So uh, that's the real deal. And I got my shrimp from JT's on Lake Street. So now 
We're gonna saute this for 10 minutes. We put the time on for 10 minutes. Crank up my heat. That's why I need a gas stove. You know, these darn electric stove. You gotta wait for it to, for the fire to go up. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some seasoning in there. We can show them the bell peppers that I already did. So, what I did already with the bell peppers, what I did already with the bell peppers, it calls you have to parboil them for 10 minutes in the water, in some uh, water on the stove. So I've already got that out the way. So you're just gonna put them in a, a, a pot of water with a little salt, uh, not a whole lot of water, just you know enough to cover the bottom of the bell peppers. And you're gonna uh, parboil them for about 10 minutes and then you're gonna take them out and it's all ready to be stuffed. So I got that out of the way. So let me show y'all. I put, I also added some cheese in the bottom of it. So when I start putting my stuffing in there, the cheese will melt. And then I put a little bit of cheese on top. So we got that out of the way. I'm gonna drink your drink. Ooh, shit, I'm talking so much I need it. Oh, Ooh, saucy bun. Oh, that's good, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and season it right now. With some pat in the pot. Generously. And we're gonna stir it up. The recipe says season it later on, but you know, I don't follow a recipe like it's supposed to, never have, never will. Gotta make it my way. <laughs> Stop laughing. <laughs> never will. You can file it if you want, but I won't. <laughs> and another thing, I have to add my secret ingredients. And y'all already know that I can't tell y'all my secret ingredients. I can't. Because it wouldn't be patting the pot after that. It has to be patting the pot. This is going to make it patting the pot. Now, I'm giving y'all all the steps how to make it. And then you can season it to your own liking. And so, I am going to add my secret ingredients right now. Don't be flipping no lip about it, because y'all already know that's how I do it. So I'm going to add my secret ingredients. There go one. There go two. There go three. There go four. Now, I'm going to let it cook. It's got seven more minutes. Maybe let me crank up the fire a little bit higher because the shrimp is not cooking. The crawfish pretty much is already cooked. How many people we got? 60. 60? Well, where they at? <laughs> I posted it all over all the cooking groups. Well, those 60 people going to learn how to cook some seafood <laughs> stuff, bell pepper. All right, so, y'all, let me tell y'all, I almost didn't have no stuff, bell peppers. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all what I did. Well, I, I, I parboiled eight of them because I put them in this pot, and it's all, it had eight of them fit in there, so I had four left. So I did the eight. When it was done, I pulled them out. Still had water in the bottom of the pot. So I put the other four in there. Put my lid on, got on my phone, you know, fooling with that phone. Came look, man, the bottom of the pot was charcoal black. Like, I mean, I got panic. I heard I took that lid off, and it, all the water had evaporated out. But it really didn't burn the bottom. Just a little bit, but that's flavor. <laughs> flavor right there. Flavor, baby. So I was, whoo, I panicked. It would have been four of them messed up. But I got to adjust in time. I do, I'm human, y'all. I do burn stuff too. My pot, when I see my pot, I'm going to tell y'all about this pot too. When I see my pot, how black, man, I had to pull out, I had to do the elbow. My elbow is sore right now, man. I, it took me, I don't know how long, 15 minutes to, to clean my pot. But this pot here, y'all, let me tell y'all about this pot. 
it's like a Magnolite. It's a generic for ma Magnolite. Y'all know I have all my Magnolite pots. I love my Magnolite pots. I, I mean, I, I stand by my Magnolite pots. That's all I cook in. I went and got this at my cousin Darby Guillory. Famous food. He owns Famous Food on Highway 14 in Lake Charles. He sells these pots. They're called Macware. And let me see what size that one is. I put it on here. It is a six point six point seven quart pot. And I tell you what, it, it make a good brown gravy. Anything you anything you wanna smother, pork chops, chicken, beef, whatever. It's gonna make a pretty brown gravy. Like if y'all seen my my uh oxtails, then y'all know this pot made that gravy. So y'all go see Darby at Famous Food, and he sell these pots in Macwell. You can't go wrong. He got all kind, all sizes. This is the six, the seven, the six point seven quart size. Okay, I got four more minutes. This cooking down good. Woo! Look at that, y'all. I'm gonna throw in a little. Let me add a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt, because you know my seasoning don't have no salt. Not much salt. I'm going to throw in a few little shakes of hot sauce, although it calls for it later on, but hell, it's all going in, in the same thing. Don't matter what time you put it in there. I don't follow no directions. Y'all already know. I just cook it as I, I, <laughs> as I go. That's what a chef does. When the chef knows what they're doing, it don't matter what they do or how they do it. It's all going to be in the, in the recipe together anyway. Whether you put it to the front, to the middle, or to the back, it's still going to be in the recipe. <laughs> it's going to be eaten. Let me give me a swig. I'm hot. This stove making me hot. My little drinky drink outfit making me hot. <laughs> yeah. My little, give me a little swig. Yeah, 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 baby. I say bum. Okay, we got two minutes. Okay, so right now, it's looking pretty good. Next, see, we got to put the crab meat. Sixty-three, sixty-five. Sixty-five. Yes. Yeah. They coming on and getting off. They coming on and getting off. I'm gonna I'm upload this video to YouTube later after um, after we finish. Where can they get your seasoning at? Uh, any Rouse's all across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Rouse's Market sells it. I sell it, but right now I'm sold out until June tenth. So I have I have lots of orders on my website right now so uh those of you who've already ordered placed an order um if, you, if you're wondering where your seasoning is i made a post last week and i said that i was completely sold out until june 10th so uh it takes 15 working days for them to uh get my my batch together so uh i'll pick it up on okay it's gonna be ready june 10th i think that's a, a when tuesday or wednesday but I'm going to be able to go till that Friday. So as soon as I get it, I will ship it out to you. And it's patinthepot.com. That's my website. And if you're local, you don't have to order off my website. If you're in Lake Charles, Westlake, Sulphur, I will, uh, I'll get it to you. So don't order on my website because it's going to charge you shipping. And I can't control the shipping. Uh, that's what the post office charges. Okay, so look. About 44 seconds, we'll go ahead and add the crab meat. I got the blue, Louisiana blue crab. Louisiana comes from Maurice, Louisiana. So you can always want to use the authentic Louisiana crab meat, shrimp, and crawfish. Don't go using none of that old Chinese crap. 
You got to use the real deal, y'all. Look at this. That's pretty. Look at that lump. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Don't go using that old, uh, that old, what you call that crab meat that's, uh, that old fake crab meat. I don't, I can't stand that. Look how pretty it's coming along. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna saute this for about another five minutes. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm messing up my okay timer. I wish they could smell it. it smells good. <laughs> it smells good. I know, huh? Look at that. And crab meat just set it off. Look at it. Woo! Okay, now look. Um. I think I'm gonna add a little bit more seasoning. We got 70 people. All right, we're getting there. Look how, look how it looks. Get in that pot. Isn't that pretty, y'all? Y'all can smell it. Y'all got smell of vision? Look how it's coming together. That's gonna go. Now I gotta put the cheese in it after I take it off the heat. So listen, I'm, I'm those of you who, who, who doesn't know about me, I'm on TikTok at Pat in the Pot. I'm on Instagram, Pat and Pat. Y'all follow me. I need more followers because that's the only way Ellen is going to see me. I got to get a lot of followers and y'all can y'all can share it. Share my videos. Share all my videos, y'all. And I'm on YouTube, Pat in the Pot, Cajun Cooking. And it's spelled just like this. Is it on here? It's spelled just like this, Pat in the Pot. Not Pat in, a lot of people spell it. P A T I N T H E pot. <laughs> I'm not pat in the pot. It's pat in the pot. So if you type that in, it probably won't pull up. So you, you got to get the correct spelling in there. Okay. I got a big drinky drink, y'all. Look at it. Ooh, first drink today, though, y'all. Oh no, I lied. <laughs> I lied. I had a one. One beer early night. I didn't finish it all. That's when I made my little video for my my oxtails. I just had a couple of little swigs of uh, one, one a half a beer. Can you tell us again where you get the crab meat? JT Seafood on Lake Street in Lake Charles. The old gr ugly green building, but they got good seafood. <laughs> uh, Y'all, I mean, it's a uh, Green and I think they got some pink on it too. JT Seafood on Lake Street in Lake Charles. That's where I get all my seafood. And it gives me a good deal. Because I'm patting a pot. <laughs> he does. I get a good deal everywhere I go. I don't know why. People see me, they just give me a good deal. I go to Popeye's and they get my food free. <laughs> they say it. I went through the drive through the other day. They all come to the window. Hey, Miss Pat, we miss you. <laughs> oh, well. It is what it is. I go to the bank. Yeah, they all come to the window. <laughs> hey, Miss Pat. I say, damn. Everybody know me. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not because I'm patting the pot. They know me because I go there to those places all the time. <laughs> I'm a repeat customer. That's why they know me. They do know it, know me as Pat in the Pot too, but they know me for going as a customer. So let me get that straight. Even at Walmart, I walk in, all the greasers know me. <laughs> I'm in Walmart 20 times a week. I guess they do know me. That's where all my damn money go. Okay, so we're gonna take, take it off the fire right now. And I'm gonna move it over here. And now we're gonna add some cheese. And the, uh, the directions will be on the uh, on Facebook of how much to put. And we're going to put the breadcrumbs. I'm going to show y'all which breadcrumbs I use. I'm going to put a little bit at a time and fold it in. This pot is hot, so i got to hold it. Just 
stir it all up, roll it all in. Coming together. Put this in, Abby. What kind of cheese? I used, uh, oh, it calls, it calls for cheddar cheese, shredded cheddar cheese, but I, I used, this is what I used, you know, because I wanted a little bit of spice. The uh, hot jalapeno and habanero jack. That's what I wanted to use. Give it that extra little kick, you know. Oh, there's the timer. Okay. Well, let me get a little bit of this cheese here. I'm going to add... I'm going to add some of this too. Some Velveeta shredded. I'm going to add a little bit of it also. Because I'm going to save the rest of that for the top. Some more breadcrumbs. Stir it up real well. I didn't know if I was going to be able to make this today, y'all, because I was sick all week. I had a bad sinus infection. I had to end up going to the doctor on Thursday and get a shot. He gave me a steroid shot and he got me on some antibiotics, and I ain't even supposed to be drinking, but you already know. Groove it. Get that. I gotta have my little swig while I'm cooking, so we can worry about the man of bodies later. Do you know if the food market is open on Tuesday? Food market? What food market? Said ask Pat if she knows if the food market on Tuesday open. What food market? Food market. I don't know what food market. You, you mean the fresh market? The farmer's market, I mean? Do they mean the farmer's market? If they're talking about the farmer's market on Broad Street, then yeah, that's open. Turn the phone that way, Ed, yeah, because I got to put something in there. They let them see. breadcrumbs. I don't know if I need to use all these breadcrumbs. Now what I want to do also is uh, I like to put a little zest of a lemon in there. This is not on the, uh, that's only one secret ingredient I'm giving y'all. Y'all better take that and run. <laughs> I, uh, it, this is not on the recipe, but like I said, I don't ever follow the recipe, so I'm going to give y'all that little tip. We have 86 people. Woo, all right. The other day we had 100 and something. 92. It's climbing. It's climbing. So those of you who just coming on... I'm making seafood stuff, bell peppers. So at the end of the video, it'll be on Facebook. You can go back and look at it. And I'm also going to upload it to YouTube. And cheese. Turn it around one more time, Abby. <laughs> Don't turn the camera. I got to put something in there. That's that wine you put in there, LOL. <laughs> That's what someone said. Wine. This thing, this spoon keep getting caught in my, my, my chef suit. Okay. 
Okay. Now what we do next. Let me see. I did put some hot sauce in there already. Let me, I want to put a couple of little dashes of cayenne. Not much. Like that. Okay, now I'm going to get a spoon and I'm going to start filling it up. And cheese! Okay, so we just got to take them. And we're going to stuff it. We're at 100. From like that. It's probably gonna be a little time for some of y'all, but can can they see? Mm-hmm. So when it gets down in there, it's gonna Melt that cheese. Just stuff them all, and then you're gonna bake it on 350 for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, what I'm gonna do with these? I'm gonna send Abby home with some, and then the rest I'm gonna freeze for a rainy day. You have 110 people. All right. Seafood stuffed bell peppers. My hands is clean, y'all. Y'all know that. We're almost there. We're getting there. Asking any questions that I need to answer? Let's see. A lot of people said it's time for a drink. Time for my drink? Oh, yeah, my drink is drink. Yeah, I'm working up a, a thirst. Big popper right there. Get in there. Ooh. 
and crab meat, y'all. Someone asked, what wine you using for the drinky drink? One that make you feel good. <laughs> Ray, you need it, Lambrusco. Lambrusco. Old school. Back in the day, that's what I used to drink. And I, it's hard to find it, but I found it the other day at Kroger. I snatched me a bottle. I should have got me a big bottle. And I'm out now. Someone said, can I come purchase a few? Well. A few? They mean a few. We go ahead and finish filling this one up. I think I got them all pretty much full. Let me show y'all my old raggedy, my old raggedy dish towel. This, it's my favorite dish towel. Got holes and everything. Y'all see me? <laughs> y'all see me through my hole? I love this old dish towel. I'm gonna cry when it falls apart. But uh, everybody got a favorite dish towel, and that's mine. That's my favorite dish towel, holes and all. It's been used and abused. So look, I'm gonna put it right here. And we're gonna sprinkle the top with cheese. And we're gonna bake it. I got it on 350 the oven. I know y'all don't wanna sit here and wait for it to bake. I don't blame y'all. But I'ma post a picture of it after it come out of the oven. But this is all it is to it. The seafood stuffed bell pepper. I'm going to post, like I said, I'm going to post the recipe on my timeline. And you can get it off my timeline and save it. Okay, now this is going to go in the oven right now. Make sure all of them are standing up. Oh, that crawfish fell off. See if I can reach it. Now what you want to do now, you want to put some water at the bottom of your pan. Just enough to cover it where it'll steam it. Yeah. See that? Got water at the bottom of the pan. Now it's about to go in the oven. I know it's about to fall. Let me get this off of here because it's going to fall. Here she goes, y'all. There she goes. I'm gonna turn on the light. Whoo! That was a job. I'm sweat. Look. <laughs> my little pot hole in the oven mitt. I keep, I keep it hanging on my, my stove right there. So y'all, I'm gonna post the, the recipe online. I'm gonna, uh, Upload the video to YouTube. You can go back and watch it if you have any questions. Uh, you can put, eliminate, put, uh, uh, or put whatever you want in here. If there's something in this recipe that you don't like, if you don't have crawfish, it's perfectly fine with just shrimp and crab meat. You know, you don't have to put all three. You can do shrimp and crab meat, um, or crawfish and shrimp, or 
however you want to do it you mix and match it, it don't, you, you make it how according to how you like it and your ingredients well I, I put in some secret ingredients that I couldn't tell y'all and like I said I switched up the uh, shredded cheddar cheese well I did add some in there but this is what I, I put at the bottom of my uh, bell peppers and on top and I added some to the mix also so um like I said, I'm out of my seasoning right now till June 10th. So those of you who want to go ahead and get in line to make sure you get some when it comes in, I'd go ahead and order right now at patentapot.com. That way you're sure to get it. Uh, or you can go to Rouse's. Any Rouse's across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama will have it. It, it tends to run out in the local areas like Lafayette, Lake Charles, Sulphur, where uh, they know me. So um, it doesn't stay on the shelf real real long over there. So um, follow me on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. There's a little bell. You hit the little bell for notifications and each time I upload a video, it'll shoot it right to your phone and it'll notify you. Pat the Pot is uploading a video. So my page, y'all, is getting full again. I'm, there, I'm almost at 5,000 again. Like I said, I've gone in and I've cleaned up some of it. Uh, eventually, I will be going strictly to Pat in the Pot, my business page, fan page, but I'm trying not to do that right now. Uh, and I hate to delete people. I, I've, I've been looking for people who've already deactivated their account and then I unfriend them. So that way, you know, they're not on Facebook. So why should they be holding up a spot that somebody else can have? So. If you unfriend your, uh, I mean, if you deactivated your account, most likely I've unfriended you. So, uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Got my big drinky drink. Like I said, I will upload the recipe as soon as we get off the live. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And next week, I'll come back with something else. Don't know what yet, but I'll be back next week. Thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all have a blessed day, blessed weekend. I love y'all. Big, 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 big. Mm, mm, mm. Good night.